Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain about heat treatment processes for the steels. So before the starting of the heat treatment process, there will be the general layout of the heat treatment process chart. So basically that will be related with the iron carbon diagram for the up to the 2% of the carbon is being present into the steels because heat treatment processes that will be applicable onto the steels. So we are only considering up to the uh, temperature range of the 1130 into the iron carbon diagrams and the weight percentage of the carbon that will be up to the 2 percentage because steel is nothing but it will be the up to 2 percentage of the carbon is being present with the iron. So you can say that it will be the hypoeutectoid steel eutectoid steel and hyper eutectoid steel. So if you want to learn in details for that hypoeutectoid steel, eutectoid steel or you can say 0.8 percentage carbon steel or you can say hyper eutectoid steel. So you will find a link in my description box. So just you can see it will be the similar to our iron carbon diagram. So above 723 it will be the formation of gamma austenite or you can say that will be the 100% solid phase of the steels at just above the 723 degree centigrade. So as per the iron carbon diagram, so this 910 to these lines that will be known as a EC3 temperature line or you can say upper critical temperature line. So after this austenite it will be converting into the alpha ferrite phase and according to the solubility of ferrite with the carbon at higher temperature. So here that will be the point of 0.025 percentage of carbon. So that will be having a 100 percent solubility to make a single solid phase. So that will be known as a alpha ferrite. And one more that will be the ACM temperature line. So at this temperature line this gamma austenite it will be start to converting into the cementite phase. So that will be around 1130 temperature line or you can say ACM temperature line. And one more temperature line is there at around 723 degrees centigrade. That will be the AC1 temperature line or you can say lower critical temperature line. So this all phases it will be before the 0.8 percentage of the carbon. So that will be the formation of alpha ferrite plus perlite at 0.8 percentage of the carbon. We know that it will be the 100% perlitic structure and after that up to the 2 percentage of carbon it will be the formation of perlite plus cementite. So this point it will be 0.8 percentage of the carbon and 723 degree centigrade so that will be known as a eutectoid point. So the transformation converting from this line or you can say transformation it will be passing through this line so that will be the eutectoid steel formation. So now if you are increasing the properties of the normal steels either it will be the hypo eutectoid steel either it will be the eutectoid steel or it will be the hyper eutectoid steel you will performing the different heat treatment processes then and then you will enhancing the mechanical properties of the steels. So in this video I would like to explaining about spherodizing process. So just you can see. So in this spherodizing process or you can say that spherodize annealing process. So in case of the medium and high carbon steels. So basically so that will be the range from 0.4 percent carbon to maximum 1.2 percentage of the carbon. So this process it will be only applicable in between this range of the weight percentage of the carbon. So what happens the our coarse perlitic structure or you can say it will be in the form of the cementite network now which will be having a enough hardness so which will be difficult to cut. So by this heat treatment process so this periodized structure which is maximum softness is being present. So such kind of process is being performing onto the 
this medium and high carbon of the steels so to make the soft structure of the steels or you can say more ductile structure onto the steels so you have to performing this periodizing process so in this process what happens heated your material just below of the lower critical temperature or it will be around just below of the 700 degree centigrade then holding at that time according to the our requirements and the presence of the weight percentage of the carbon then the cooling that will be followed by a furnace itself so you can say that that will be the periodizing annealing process so by this process our pearlatic structure with the cementite which will be becoming more soft and it will be having a good ductility so that will be increasing the machinability into the steel structure so these all are regarding for the periodizing process which will be used for making a soft and ductile face of the steels so i hope you understand the periodizing process if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching